hello guys welcome again to my youtube channel please subscribe like comment and don't forget to turn that notification bell whenever i put a new video you will be the first to be notified another thing is please guys don't skip hearts please i beg you please please as you can see the hearts are running so please don't skip just support me by watching my hearts thanks and god will press you so today guys i am going to give a quick advice to my fellow kadamas fellow house managers who are new here in cal country so stay tuned So guys, the first thing when you reach in your boss's house, you are new the first day in Gulf, whether you are in Qatar, you are in Saudi, you are in Bahrain, you are in Dubai. So the first thing you will ask her or him, it depends on if it's your madam or if it's your boss. So first thing before you start anything, first thing ask them the time you are supposed to sleep and the time you are supposed to wake up so that you will know the time you are supposed to wake up simply because these people they do things different different why am i saying this these people Usiku, usiku ndiyo mchana kwa Mostly te, te go out at night So You must know what time you sleep and what time you woke up Na the next day Usiku bali kusurwana na wao Ju Hawa watu wanafanya things opposite Usiku ndio mchana kwa mchana ndio usiku kwa so usiku unapata wao wamera oh, wanaenda kutembea unapata mtu anatoka kwa nyumba kitu saa ina usiku wanaenda kutembea labda anarudi anarudi saa saa moja asubuhi ama saa tisa so usiku pari kwenda kutembea na wao juu kama uko na watoto wenye wanaenda shule you are supposed to walk up at 8 at six or five to prepare them to go to school so ukienda kusuluri na wao na unajua lazima utaamuka hiyo hata umkifika kwa nyumba saa saa kumi lazima utaamuka hiyo saa kumi na moja wa prepare waenda shule halafu wanzani na kazi zingine so mimi naona hakuna acha ya kusuluri na wao just we waambie uko kwa nyumba we unabaki kwa nyumba the next thing ukiamka asubuhi kitu cha kwanza tafuta kitu chenye unakula don't accept expect these people to tell you to eat utangocha sana hawezi kukwambia ukule so wewe ndio utajipanga ukiamka asubuhi make something ukule ndio uanze kazi ukiongochea wakwambie ukule utangocha sana and you will suffer so we kura kwanza alafu endelee na kazi but these people sometimes i don't know god is strong with them utawasapata mtu amekwambia you are free to eat anything you want in this house alafu ukianza kupika Unaona yu madam anashunguka na hiyo hii kitu ya wanaita kukuwa. Anashunguza nyumba msima, anasema hiyo chakura inanuka. But wakipika chakura yao, wa uwa inanuka. Hiyo isikupea pressure. Mwajana ashunguka, hiyo mnala wapabele, ashunguka, ashunguka. At the hand, at the ajana. But we, pika hiyo chakura, ukule. Ukianza kwetie, 
sasa ame, amesema chakula yangu inanuka alafu wanaachanisha tu hapo wewe ndio utaumia juu anaacha hakuna siku atakwambia upike ukuri hmm? tumia akili tumia akili bwana hmm? lazima ujitete juu kazi yenye utafanya kwa hiyo nyumba sio rahisi sio rais vile unafikiria lazima tumbo kwanza then utifadai the next thing usikuwe na kielele ukifika tu kwa kwa boss wako unajua these people first time lazima kuna maswali 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 sa ujinga ujinga wanakuuliza wanakuuliza do you have baby are you married so wake kuuliza hivyo hata kama una mtoto waambie we uko na uko na mtoto na uko married juu ni naona kaa ukiwaambia uko married wanakushuku juu ya mabwana zao wata wanaweza fikiria labda utachukua mabwana zao we waambie kama una mtoto we waambie uko na watoto kama wawili ama watatu that is okay so kelele ya kuambia it eh hey, mimi sina mtoto mimi sina bwana hiyo achana naye na kitu kingine yenye uta ukifika tu kwa hiyo nyumba utaacha hiyo lazima utaacha uko uko jekwa jomo kenyata international airport ukipanda ndege unaacha na hiyo na hiyo hiyo ni price pe juu huko utakaa two years without kuona hiyo kitu hata kusikia juu ukianza kufikiria hivyo wewe ndio utachipata mashakani so kitu kama hiyo wachana nayo usifikirie juu ya hiyo dress peri ama nini na sometimes si huwa unasahau kaa hiyo kitu ilikuwa ina exist ama so hiyo kuna wachana nayo na kitu kingine ni Maringo it is three three where se fa uniform three where se fa three nini we fa uniform ju wanataka hakuna vile utafaa nguo ya hizo nguo zenye ukucha na nazo kutoka Kenya hizi hizi ndio tunafaa na hakuna shida hakuna shida ju hakuna mahali penye unaenda uko tu hapo kwa nyumba uko tu sirozi ni hapo ziona big deal ya utafaa hizo hata kikuletea gunia kubwa Eh, juu hakuna vile atakuletea nini atakuletea saizi yako lazima atakuletea extra large hmm? ukifaa hata wewe mwenyewe unaona but it is okay we just fa na upambane na kazi the next thing yenye most important uwe mtu wa maombi uwe mtu wa maombi usipoomba this work this work is not easy lazima huwe unaomba kila kila asubuhi mchana anytime anytime you must pray because life here it is not a joke staying with these people it is not a joke you must ask god to give you strength to cover you with, with his blood so that you will finish this journey sababu why am i saying this what we do when you are i think in prayers maombi tu ni ndio inaangua kwa tu hapa paka wanamaliza contract yao tu vizuri you sometimes utaweza pata familia nyingine mbaya but when you go down into your knees and ask God for protection my friend trust me kila kitu kitakuwa sawa so be a prayer a prayer for person kwa mtu wa maombi na hizo vitu kama try spell hata kwa kukwambia sisi mstri wanakwambia eti unanuka sisi what hiyo usijari don't mind them hata ukianza kulia utalia utalia miaka mbili mm. i know mostly 
three months of the passion zinakuwa nini zinakuwa nini eh ngumu sana but ukimaliza tu hiyo you are free to go yani unaona tu masiku zinaenda masiku tu zinaenda so that is all for today guys stay tuned be present and have a rough day yeah bye and god bless you and don't forget to subscribe like